is there something that you had to do mm. to consciously say okay as the ceo i'm going to do these three things differently or think about myself differently mm. the way i show up at work versus 48 hours earlier i was just a really good svp evp whatever was the role that you were doing oh god yeah my god i think i was telling my mother this yesterday that being a ceo over the last 6 years has and it wasn't that i wasn't a business head be an leader oh. or that before as you said you know whatever senior svp etc but being a ceo over the last 6 years has changed the person that pratika is completely mm -hmm. uh, in so many ways um for instance i i give you a few examples i always thought of myself as a very strong individual performer and someone who took a lot of accountability on myself um and you can give me as you could give me as much load as you could throw and i would be very happy to carry it uh, so delegation was not something that came very easily i have learned to share the load and not only share the load of the work but share the emotional load uh, mm -hmm. very often we share the work load but we don't share the responsibility the emotional load so that's that that that's been a big one uh, i used to struggle i mean this is a funny thing to say that i used to hate tough conversations i was a conflict avoider i mean okay. my husband called me a turtle uh, i would diplomat's <laughs> daughter i would run to avoid conflict um and being an effective ceo means addressing conflict um and uh, i'm perhaps one of the most i mean i i really say it as is and quite often i have two people in a room who i know have a problem i can sense it in their emails i can sense it in their tone but they don't want to admit it and i almost sit them down and say you guys have a problem you have to sort this out and i'm not letting you leave the room until we sort this out i did one of these on friday um so i've gone from a conflict avoider Uh, mm -hmm. to a conflict addresser 